Okay. Hi, I'm Katie Toma, President and CEO of the Chico Chamber. And I'm here today with Nicole Johansson, who is going to share with us what's happening with the Sierra Oro Farm Trail. You know, this has always been a great tradition in Butte County. And because of COVID, there's been a lot of changes. And this year, um, we just had to share what's happening with them because the collaboration that's happened like no other year is really worthy of an interview so that we can get the word out on how the agriculture community, the business community has come together to, um, to, to pull this off. So good morning, Nicole. Thank you for uh, being here. And um, just want to share too that um, I know your husband, Jamie, who's the president and CEO of the California Farm Bureau, um, that he and another one, uh, Heather, um, had are the ones that started the farm trail. So maybe you can give us a little history, a little context, and then um, share with us on um, what's happening. Sure. Thanks for having me. Um, we did, we started the farm trail in 2004. And at the time, we had just opened a tasting room at our farm in Orville, our Lodestar olive oil. And we were talking about how do we get people to come to Orville to taste olive oil. Uh, so we were working with Heather Quillacy, whose family owns Quillacy Vineyards in Oroville also. And the idea was born for a farm trail map. And in the time, the 16 years since we've been doing this, it's just grown. Um, we have a very successful passport weekend every year that brings about 2,500 people into Butte County. We started with a handful of farms, maybe 10 farms. Chico Chamber's been on board since day one, which we appreciate your support. And now we have over 35 farms and wineries in Butte County that tour, taste, and toast with the farm trail. Well, it's really a fun event. And, you know, Chico and Butte County has really become a, a tourism destination. So tell me about Chico State and how it is that you're involved with them. Sure. So I, I do believe that at its court, uh, Butte County, Chico, this is an ag town. And so our ag uh, businesses are important to us. And in May, we realized um, there was no way that we were gonna be able to invite 2,500 people in. We weren't even gonna call public health and ask about that. So um, we felt we needed to pivot and do something. And we didn't wanna just skip a year uh, just because there's such momentum and such um, love for this event. So. Chico State's also been a partner of ours since the get-go. We originally planned the Passport Weekend that we normally have on Parent Weekend because we wanted parents who were in town to have something to do and come see the farms. And they have jumped right on board um, in, a, in a huge way. They are hosting our virtual tastings. So our virtual Parent Weekend and vir virtual Passport Weekend will take place Saturday, October 10th. Um, and then in the meantime, Sierra Nevada also approached us about making a farm trail beer. Um, so some, and Lundberg Rice is involved. Anyway, we've just had tremendous support from the business community and we are so grateful. So tell me about the, the um, beer that Sierra Nevada is doing. I know that, that I believe that all the ingredients in that beer are local. They are, we have a bottle here. This is the newest creation from Sierra Nevada. It's called Farm Trail Harvest. It's a Baltic Porter. Um, and I, I guess there's a lot of ladies that attend the Farm Trail who don't always drink beer, but we feel this is definitely a ladies beer. It's great taste. We have um, everything in this beer is grown within 15 miles of the brewery. And I think there's maybe a handful of breweries in the world that could make a beer like this. So the the peaches are from Chico State Farm. Um, as you know, they have a beloved peaches orchard. And this year, they couldn't do their you pick orchard the way they normally do. So peaches were donated to uh, Sierra Nevada to make the beer. Uh, Macy Jane is um, also involved. Her fired roasted almonds are in the beer. And Lundberg is collaborating with uh, brown rice syrup, which is also the rice field that you see here in the front and the Buttes here, if you're driving south from Butte County towards Lundberg, um, and then the estate grown uh, hops and barley from Sierra Nevada. So this is really an estate grown product. I believe there's a limited number of cases of this beer. And with our pivot strategy to sell tasting boxes, you can get a bottle, 
in your tasting box. So I wanted to ask you about that. So the event is virtual. And so tell me about the boxes and how that, how that relates to the, to the tasting. So we have um, had a huge effort to sell boxes. Obviously the farm trial doesn't have a seller's permit. We don't have a uh, liquor license. There's a lot of things that we don't have. So a uh, behind the scenes partner that has stepped up is Sonry Family Foods. And we, they are really the, um, the workhorse and the back end of this entire operation. And all of these boxes are being assembled by uh, the, farm, the Sonry family. Um, so we are sending out boxes and the farms that have chosen to participate, I'll show you the box here in a second. It's behind me. Uh, their products are in the box. There's various offerings. You know, our wineries have been hit really hard this year and the farm trail weekends usually our gateway to the holiday season. A lot of people that kind of kicks off the holiday season. It's by far the biggest weekend for every farm on the trail in terms of sales in their tasting room. Um, and this year, wine tasting rooms have been closed off and on. Um, so you can buy three different wine products, a case of wine, or we've split the case into six reds or four right, white and two rosé. And those three wine samplers are available. There's a food and wine box that includes a couple bottles of wine from the trail and the beer, as well as 10 products from local farms. And then there's also a food only box that includes the same 10 local food products. Well, this is very exciting and a very creative way to keep a tradition, you know, in Butte County, in Chico alive. And, and I'm pleased to hear with Chico State and the collaboration. And um, we know that they are community oriented and the farm um, really has some great things going on. And yes, their peaches are the very best. I they believe. are. Yeah. Well, if you go to our website, sierraoro.com, or if you look at the Chico State Alumni Association uh, page to see what's going on for Parent and Family Weekend, there is a link and Chico State has made it possible for us to have a, a virtual release of the beer. So what's gonna happen is uh, the brand innovation director for Sierra Nevada, the, um, the Lemberg farmers, the Chico State farm, Macy Jane, uh, we, have a, we have a host who's gonna taste us through this beer and how it was made. And 5,000 people can register through Chico State's go-to meeting platform that they have graciously given us um, to launch. It's going to be at um, September, or I'm sorry, October 10th at 11 a.m. So October 10th at 11 a.m. is the virtual tasting of the beer, and um, anybody can register. You don't have to have a tasting box, but if you did order one, your box should be shipping this week, and or you can come pick it up. We're working on getting all the final details together so we can announce our curbside pickup. Um, with or without a box, you can join the, the virtual tasting and there'll be virtual tastings of the products in the box throughout the weekend. Well, it sounds like a fun thing to do. You know, with COVID, we've really been limited on um, gatherings and, and any fun events uh, because we've all been hung, hunkered down. But I can imagine um, that you could have a few people over, you know, keep the number down and socially distance and, and have a virtual uh, tasting and hear about the beer because that really is exciting. Um, we love collaboration. We love it when there's partners from different parts of the community that come together and produce something so amazing. So tell me about some of the products that you have in there. Sure. So, um, you know, when you get your box and you're starving, I'll even come around here and maybe show you a little bit closer up the box. So in the box, there is salami from Lano Seco and some cheese from Pedroso Cheese. So you can sip on the wine and have some beer and cheese along with it. Sonry family has put their rice in. There's a salad dressing uh, made with local kiwis from TJ Farms. Um, milk and Honey 1860, they milk goats and make a lavender soap. So there's a little soap. Mm -hmm. um, again, Chico State, they put their uh, meat sticks in from their meat lab at their Chico State Farm. So there's some beef sticks. Macy Jane's roasted almonds, uh, some olive oil, almendra wine, and then Lemberg Farms is actually launching a new product in the box. This is a new product from Lemberg Farms. It's their organic rice cake minis. These are the white cheddar flavor. There's multiple flavors, but you'll be the first to sample this new product from Lemberg Farms. Well, that looks terrific. And we really do appreciate that, you know, you all have pivoted like so many 
businesses and organizations in order to, to keep moving forward and, and not lose momentum because this is an important part of our community. It brings tourism, it's the outsiders coming in and um, this, this is important for all of us. So I really appreciate you taking the time um, to share with us on October 10th. So sierraoro.org. Yep, that's where you go for information and really just have to um, say what an amazing collaboration this has been. And the um, partners that we have with Chico State and Sierra Nevada specifically, the way that they have come together for the community and for the farms has, has really been um, just an amazing experience. And everybody has brought their resources to the table to make this happen. So I'm so grateful. Well, I'm grateful for you and you, you know, you, you are a woman of perseverance and um, I appreciate that because this is, um, this is important to our community and I think for all of us to have something fun to look forward to. So take care and uh, we'll talk soon. Thank you, Katie. Thanks Thank for having you. me.